Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Triple N Media. I am Dr. Nick Nickam and today we are going to look at how we can use Lightroom to remove some of these uh, pimples and smooth out the skin in a model. So let us begin. We already have this image open in Lightroom and we're going to go to the development phase and in the development phase we can also use uh, right and this one and bring up this image so we can use that as a reference now we're going to work on the image in the active panel the first step I'm going to do is to select this spot removal option once I see this you can see this circle we can increase or decrease the size of the circle by pressing the left or the right bracket so let us start with some small spots here and see how they come out. That did a pretty good job. So we'll try to see if we can get rid of some of these spots. So far it looks uh, pretty acceptable. And we can also not only remove pimples, we can also remove brown spots, black spots, red spots, uh, any kind of spot uh, that you don't want to draw attention so I got rid of uh, most of the spots here except for a few spots here and there and I think it looks like a pretty here's another spot little brown spot let's control minus that will bring it back to and if you press H it will show all the spots that we use to clear up the area so I'm going to press H again so I want to remove that let's go back here and I want to clean up this area some more so let's see if we can get a little bigger spot if it helps okay I think it's helping us uh, to get rid of some of the spots we wanted I think that's pretty reasonable uh, for me so that part is done. The second part I would like to do, as you can see, the skin is a little bit rough here and it's a, like a rough texture here. We're going to clean up that part. In order to do that, we press K like a King. When you press K, it brings up uh, this effects uh, menu and I have already selected soften skin and there are a whole bunch of options available. Uh, in terms of increasing the exposure, contrast, highlight, shadows and all the way down here we have softened skin. Again this has a circle which we can either increase by the right bracket or decrease by pressing the left bracket. It just make it a reasonable size. Let's start off with the nose. Just compare this nose here and this nose here. I'm going to reduce the size a little bit so we can smooth out uh, nose a little bit just a touch you don't need to do anything much however I, I don't know why it's changing the reference image also but I'll put the original image uh, when we start when when I'm finished so here is uh, smoothing out the skin and you can see the skin is uh, looking better smooth out here so you sort of a more uniform look give a more uniform look There is some redness in the cheek, uh, which is all right. Uh, it's not going to really bother as long as the image looks clean and crisp. From a practical point of view, I think uh, this is a fairly decent image. And I don't think I really need to do touch anything more here. The skin looks smooth and uh, the pimples are all gone and the cheeks look uh, clear and most of the blemishes are gone. I'm satisfied with this. Let us uh, save this and bring up both images side by side and see how it looks. So in order to do that, I'm going to go to library and this is my finished product. I'm going to export this and I'm going to be saving this in a folder. Uh, and it's going to give a unique name. 
So, let us go back and minimize this one. Now, let us look at before and after. Now, here is the picture which was before, which we called it pimples. As you can see, this is the picture. This is the picture. Now, I want to bring up uh, the image that was done, which is here. So there you go ladies and gentlemen this was before and this is using Lightroom by using the spot removal and skin soft options only two simple options. I hope you like uh, this in this way you will be able to do some simple touch up on images which have pimples or uneven skin surface. I am Dr. Nick Nickham and please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and we will see you next time. Thank you so much for your attention.